on it. That, oh my God, why don't you and Steve, for an experiment, swap faces? And, and the great see... thing is, I wouldn't age. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you do that if, if, I could, if it was safe? Uh, I, I think I'm getting the rough deal in though. <laughs> To be honest, yeah. <laughs> well, no, you would. You get some money back. It'd be part exchange. I mean, it would. You know, it's like you'd, you'd make up the difference just to wear your brilliant face for but, a week. But the doctor was saying, you know, um, <laughs> it's not complicated. He said the worst thing is something about uh, the people who were related to the dead person. It's a bit weird for them still seeing the face of someone they know walking about when they're sure. dead. Yeah, I can see yeah. that the yeah. <laughs> I love you, Carl. You are brilliant. <laughs> Honestly, you're never a dull moment. Would, it would it you... doesn't matter whether you're talking or I'm squeezing your head. It's, uh, it's, I'm never bored. I never go, oh, that's enough, Carl. Do you know what I mean? I never, I used, I had battling tops, I got bored. It's like computer games, you think it's the best game in the world, and someone goes, how are you getting on with Tomb Raider? You go, oh, I don't play it anymore. I go, how's Carl? I go, he's brilliant. He's brilliant. I was squeezing it yesterday, I was squeaking in his face, I got him down to the ground. He said this, he said that, I'm never bored with you. It, do you know what I mean? It's brilliant. I'd like to rent you out to people. See me, I'm different. <laughs> I would happily leave him now in the bottom of the cupboard. Mm. <laughs> Until quiz the scale electrics. <laughs> Until the old pub quiz night, <coughs> when there's no one else who will have you on the team. Sure. And oh, some of you are your best mate. Done him again. Right? My, yeah, where's his mum and dad then, Carl? Mm. Yeah? In yeah. Bristol. Yeah. Yeah. Can't believe oh. it. I love the fact you can insult me, but never insult my parents. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Feeder, Butt Rogers. XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Brink. Carl, Carl just said to me, he said, what face would you have to me? And I went, what do you mean? He went, well, whose face would you have? And I went, I don't know, uh, a, a boy's, so uh, the skin would be regenerated. He went, oh, no, I'd be a bit weird. He said, oh, no, someone famous. And I went, oh, I don't know. I went, whose would you have? He went, Barry Sheen. <laughs> no, but what I meant was, when I was talking, to Suzanne, when I was talking to Suzanne about it, yeah. saying, this is amazing, she said, well, whose face would you have? All right. Now, it's got to be fairly recent to have the skin fresh, because it can't be too old. Right. So I had a choice of, like, Barry Sheen, yeah. or, uh, what's her face, or Flask of the Summer Wine. Who? Uh, who's the old woman who just passed away? Thora Heard. Thora Heard. <laughs> so that's what I meant, if I could have any face, cos she said, well, you could have had Tom Cruise or something. Mm. I said, well, he's not dead. <laughs> So, no, but you could have had that. You, you give yourself restrictions in your fantasy. So, I like, look down the picture. I love the idea that someone getting you a call. Uh, Mr. Wilberton, uh, hello, it's Dr. Hanrahan. Um, Barry Sheen has just passed away. And you go, oh dear. Um, yeah, bad news and good news. Um, do you want his face or. <laughs> do you want his face? Does Suzanne go out with you, like, for charitable reasons? <laughs> I love the fact that she encourages you. Oh, oh, she, she was saying about Tom Cruise, and I was like, oh, you know, she said, you know, he's not a bad-looking fella or whatever. So, well, what she's saying is, Carl, is there any chance you could go and get a different face? Maybe something like Tom Cruise would yeah, be good. Then, then I was saying, right, first of all, he's got to be dead and he's not. Yeah. But if he was, and you had that done, would you feel like... People were looking you at you something. on the tube. Well, no, like, say if the people who made Mission Impossible said, well, we want to do a third one, <laughs> would I then, would I be in my right to say, well, I don't want to do it? <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. I don't mean to be <laughs> offensive, Carl, but your girlfriend could do a lot better than you. <laughs> I don't know what he's thinking. I love thinking. the idea of this whole conversation about you with Tom Cruise's face and then get off in a film. But why, okay. why does she have conversations like this with you? There's no on last night. There's no on the telly. No I on the love chat. it. Uh, what should we talk about? What about uh, getting a new face? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, was, oh, that cartoon. Um, if you don't know what Carl looks like, there's a cartoon that was in last week's heat, isn't it, that I drew it on the website. What's, what's it going for now? Bid... I think it's at about uh, 225 quid at the moment. And what do they have to do to bid for it? Uh, just just email in and I'll pass it on to the website people. I know why Heat put it in. It's because the editor, Boyd Hilton, looks a little bit like you, doesn't he? Sort of my ugly brother. <laughs> he's probably listening and he says nice things about you. Yeah, he can still say nice things, but I bet he knows deep down. You know if you're good looking or not, don't you? <laughs> Come on, Steve. Steve. I mean, what it's do you going, think? This is going, this is going crazy now, Carl. I don't know, you, you're just, the insults are flying left, right and centre. You've got no limits. 
<laughs> you've just gone crazy, just gone wild. He's uh, running around just because you look like Tom Cruise. I think it's because he's been hanging out with Christian O'Connell. Yeah. And they're both thinking, yeah, we're... A Co couple of media players. Yeah. Too big for their boots. Yeah, not scared. Of, although he's scared of Christian. No, he's terrified He's scared of, of Christian in here because he's not allowed to do monkey news. No. Because well, yeah. Christian wants to do it. He's scared of him. I'm not saying that, right? <laughs> Christian. <laughs> Christian wants to do some monkey news. I'm not allowed. Once around the block, badly drawn boy. I like him. He's funny as well. You know what? I think he looks like if me and you were put in a blender, Carl. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's sort of he's got my sort of shape. He's got your sort of accent and all that. Uh, when you put in a blender, does that? <laughs> what a voice. Sort of mix. <laughs> the times I thought of putting the two of you in a blender. That'd Do you remember? I, I told you that thing about the sponges, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, that, that freaked him out. You know, if you get uh, two sponges and uh, you dye them, one red and one blue, and you liquidise them, we pour them into a tank of water. After a couple of hours, there's a blue sponge and a red sponge because their cells know well, they, and they they reform. And do you know what he said? He went. <sighs> How'd you kill a sponge then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, oh, what a great thing to say. <laughs> oh, my back's killing me because I, I, I went, um, you know, I, I did my back in last week and I had to get a chiropractor out and I couldn't walk. Well, as soon as I could walk, I mean, I came in here on my day off and did a, when you were in Bristol with your mum and dad looking mm. after you. Um, and, uh, and then I went to Selfridges Sunday, and... Well, you got a bit of money now, why not? <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, and, uh, I went into the sports department, and, uh, there's a golf simulator there, £38,000, and it's just like a shed, and I was looking at it like a kid in a sweet shop, and the two blokes that work there, uh, uh they recognised me, and went, oh, all right, I said, yeah, good. I mean, I was just looking at that, that simulator, it's brilliant, isn't it? He went, do you want to have a go? And I went, no, I'm crap, I can't do it. I said, oh, and I got a bad back. And then I went, you have a go, and he did it, and cut down, and he went, oh, that's not bad. And he went, do you want to go? I went, yeah, go on then. <laughs> and, and I put the water out, and I really tried my hardest. Of course you did. And it took off, and it was really good <laughs> shot. And he went, good, I went, I went well, I said, I'm go. And I was thinking, I've got to hit this one as well, I've got to hit this one too. And I hit it again, I had three goes. I hurt my back after the first one. <laughs> yeah, but you and, on. and it went, it brought, I said, cheers, thanks very much. And I walked away, <laughs> and I went to Jane, and I went, I've got to get a cab. She went, I just have done my back. She went, well, why did you show off? I went, I had to. Of course you did. That I sums you up. That just I was in agony. I was the all the way back. I was. I had to lay on the floor and put ice on my back again for about three hours. What was the best you <laughs> thought could happen? That they would just say, oh "My God, that guy." <laughs> <laughs> That's Ricky Gervais. Is there nothing he can't do? <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah. As I, as I was, I was seeing that, I go, cheers, yeah. As I got about a few yards away, I just slowed down, and, I, and Jane go, what are you waiting for? I go, listen. Yeah. And they just go, that man is a god. Yeah. And I go, come on, Jane, let's go home. <laughs> yeah. That's You've just all... Uh, have you ever... <laughs> Been able to walk through a fairground, pass one of those machines, those test your strength machines, yeah. and not have a go at it. Uh, 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 I don't think I'd be very good at that. I bet you cannot walk past one of those rifle ranges and not have a go. I love, I love rifle but ranges. But you've got to be the best, I imagine. Yeah, if someone had just won before me, I'd go, it's not worth it, it's fixed. Sure. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. Pathetic. Yeah, well, so that's why my back's good. It's ridiculous, isn't it? But I refuse, also, I don't, I hate not being able to do stuff. It's like I'm punishing the injury. Yeah. I know yeah. if I laid in bed for it, it'd be better, but I go, no, why should I? Yeah. It, I've used to, I used to... When I used to work kid, I used to hit my head on the banister or something, and I used to go and get a hammer and hit the banister. <laughs> and then I started thinking, um, uh, <laughs> when I was about eight, I remember if I'd hurt myself, I'd go, ha ha, God, didn't hurt. <laughs> 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 He's up there thinking, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> How mental is that? <laughs> Carl, what are you thinking, mate? All right, rock busters, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Straight to it. Straight to it. Go on then, who's the winner? I've right, oh, got to do the clues again. Right, the first one was, uh, the hitchhiker needs a lift, but in something bigger than a car. Yeah, snappy, go on. VH. Yeah. Right, that was Van Halen. Van Halen. Halen of Van. Because he wanted something bigger than a car, that's the, that's the first one. Yeah. Uh, All the tenses one. are mixed up, <laughs> everything, it's just, go uh, on. Uh, second one.